Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, October 1241, variant question number two, and topic is Newton's law. So we have this question, so let's see how we can start. First of all, uh, rule number one, that's the, uh, we have a situation like this. So I will make my oh, this separate diagram here, or, or first I give a basic idea. So let's say this is a, this is a table. All right, read a question. So there are two masses, A and B, clearly mentioned, okay? And rough table, sometimes smooth table, but here mentioned rough table, okay? Uh, and let me tell you, whole syllabus of our pure mathematics, sorry, mechanics, fully always smooth, fully never rough. Table can be rough, table can be rough or smooth, but uh, fully always smooth. Look at even he mentioned here, fully smooth. So what uh, normally fully is never smooth, realistically, when you talk about our common life, fully never smooth, but we will assume fully always smooth, come back. So B starts to move downwards, like B is falling downwards with acceleration 1.6. We have to find tension in string and uh, when after releasing, after releasing means after motion starting, that is why. So let's start first the plan. So first of all, uh, I suggest you, if the diagram is given by examiner, so well and good, okay, uh, do rest all forces there. If not mentioned, so make your own. Make your own diagram. I show you, inshallah. Look, this is a plan, okay? And then I show a pulley in the middle here, okay? And one particle placed here, okay? One particle placed here, and one particle is here hanging. Okay, let me show you a string passing and string here, okay? All right. So now I can show you a weight component. So this is a, a very clear. Let me change the color and then I make it. This is what? Up and down. All of you know it. This is a, uh, okay, we know it. And this is downward acting. Okay, all of you know it. And backward acting here. Okay. So I think this all idea is, ideas are clear. Okay. So let's start. This is weight component. What is this particle A? A. So what is the mass? You know, mass is a 0.3. All of you know, into 10 will give you three newtons. So this is three newtons. Okay, particle B, 0.2. So 0.2 into 10, it becomes two newtons. So these are two newtons for sure. Okay, all right. And I said before, tension towards pulley. Okay, always we have a question, tension towards pulley. And friction is backward. This is R. I think I have resolved all my forces, uh, what of the forces components. I think, alhamdulillah, this part is done. So let's start according to plan, according to plan, friction force we can find very easily because you know, all of you know, F is equals to mu R. Okay, because R, uh, F is equal to mu R and um, let me read, wait a minute, please. I think so he said tension is string to release and we have given one extra part. Let me read here uh, is a rough table and uh, the final tension. So friction talk later, friction not late now, okay. So, uh, let me check again. Then I talk to you about this matter. Maybe I'm missing something. Wait a minute. Smooth, uh, pull, smooth pulley. Okay. And rough and acceleration given 1.6. Okay. So not a hard job. We can start now. Look at here. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, my students, I will make two, two things. One is particle B and one is particle A. So we will, I will talk two. First on B. So for B particle, you have to concentrate very carefully. My question from here, uh, or simple, I, I'm just telling you, the particle is B because moving downward, so moving downward. So common sense, two is bigger force and tension is smaller force. And let me tell you, because I'm talking about a B object, I will not involve three and not involve four. Because you know, last time when we have one particle is there, if for one force acting upward, downward, we, we resolve. But now we have in this condition, there are not one particle, there are two particles, one particle B and one particle A. Because I am talking about only particle B, so my attention is only and only B particle. So let's start. Formula is net force equal to MA. All of you know it, N for MA. Because system is motion, okay, let me write here motion word. So it, it, it clears that the particle is moving downward and two is bigger, tension smaller. Let's start. So two minus tension is equal to MA mass of the A, mass of the B particle is 0.2. So 0.2 times 2 A and acceleration given by him is 1.6. So 1.6. So tension goes there and 0.2 into 1.6 is equal to tension. And Alhamdulillah, so 2, uh, 2 minus 0.2 times to 1.6. And answer is coming. I'm getting answer is so 1.68. 
Newton. So you took got these two marks in no time. And now for A, now for A I talk about. Now when I talk about A, my children, I will concentrate all forces acting on A. But you know there are two things: one parallel to the surface and one perpendicular to first surface. Make sure one thing. And you will not involve these forces with the A components, not at all. Come back. Let's talk about because system is going this way, so motion is the right hand side. Okay. So I will I will start like this: net force equal to ma. Net force equals to ma. Ma. So you know that because system is right side, so tension is bigger, friction is lesser. So T minus friction force equal to ma. Okay. Tension is we got it from before. So 1.68. And friction, I want to find. And mass of the particle A is 0.3. So I'm writing here 0.3. And acceleration of the whole system is 1.6. Because they are, connected, they are attached particles. So that is why they have a spain, same acceleration. It's a very clear. Okay, minus 0.3 times to 1.6. And alhamdulillah, I am getting the friction very easily. Okay, and let me just matter of typing. 1.68 minus 0.3. Minus 0.3 into 1.6. Alhamdulillah, I got 1.2 newtons. If he asks me, let's he's not asking here. So he's asking friction force acting on A. I got it. If he asks you mu, so mu is not a hard job. Mu F is given. R is equal to 3 newtons force. Like if he asks mu, so mu is equal to all of you, F is equal to mu R. So mu is equal to F upon R. So you can keep this value 1.2 in the place of F. And R is coming three. It means you can find easily the last part, even although he's not asking here. I hope so. The concept is very, very clear. 